bringing you guys with me for my run today because there's a few different things that I'd like to talk about. Today's video is going to be a little bit about a few different topics. First things first. Today's a Western States lottery, so I don't know if any of you guys are into this, but if so, good luck. And then be curious to hear about it in the comments below. <clears throat> the second thing that I want to talk about that I have a cool announcement to make. I have, uh, since posting my last video, I've become brand ambassador for brand of gear that I've been using that I really like. I'm not gonna reveal which one yet, but I'd like to hear her guesses. <clears throat> it's a brand you've seen on the channel a little bit, no, about which I've talked about a little bit, but I'm not, <clears throat> not going to go into too much details right now. I'll let you guys guess in the comments. <clears throat> Another exciting thing this week is that we've started seeing uh, previews of the most shoe brands lineup for 2022. There's a YouTube channel called uh, Road Trail Run, if I remember correctly. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be linked in the corner. Anyway, they were at uh, some sort of trade show, it seems, and they had a glimpse of lineups with uh, of all of the major brands. And he made a video with each of them. Now, Seeing the shoe lineup is exciting, but I think it's, it's no big secret that I've been running in the Solomon Sense ride for the past few years, and the video looking at the Solomon lineup at me a little bit concerned. From what I understand, all of their shoes are moving to the Energy Surge midsole. And I've been a huge fan of the up to buy midsole for the sense ride. It's much more firm than uh, their energy surge energy surge midsole that we see in the ultra light. So I'll be curious to see see what happens with that. What's the shoe that you're most excited about for 2022? I might branch out and try different things. We'll see. 2021 is coming to an end, which means two things. First, it's time to reflect on the year that is ending. I'll make a year in, re year in review video soon. Second, it means that it's time to set goals for 2022 goals for this channel, goals for my training, race goals. I'm, just, I'm gonna discuss the, all of that in more details over the next few weeks. But I can give you a bit of a glimpse as to what 2022 has in store for me. <clears throat> First of all, I'm already registered for the Beluga Ultra Trail, which is a gorgeous race I've been looking at for the past few years, even before I thought about running my first ultra. It's a gorgeous race following the Sagni River and ending in Tadoussac. I'll link to the website of the race. You can look at the pictures gorgeous. So that's happening 
in September next year, I think. So that's the one thing that we have set in stone so far. What else? It's not a race, but I have a side project with two friends to go run the presidential traverse in the US. The presidential traverse is a trail. There's actually a few path, different path options. Oh, ice. Let's be careful here. Walk over that, that patch of ice. Uh, taking you over the, the, the part of the White, White Mountains and culminating into the ascension of Mount Washington, which is the highest summit of, in the U.S. Northeast. So our plan is to tackle that in a day. It's 30 to 35 kilometers, a ton of vert. Should be a fun challenge. It's not an ultra distance, but it should still be a good challenge. We have a tentative date of maybe August. Nothing set in stone yet, but that's what we're looking at right now. Gee, there's a lot of ice around here. Gotta be careful. Uh, <laughs> what else? <clears throat> well, having run my first 50k, I want to push further. So I'm looking at a few options to maybe run a 50 miler next year. So 80k. Uh, still not set in stone. I like the idea of going to run the Quebec Mega Trail early in the summer. They have a nice 80k course. Seems really challenging because it's a lot of the vert is front loaded. And then once you get the vert behind you, there are very technical trails. So that's one thing I'm looking at. If not that one, I'm going to look at other options. There are not a ton of 80, 80 Ks, 50 milers in the, in the region. So got to look at that a little bit. But that's something that I'd like to do next year. Again, this is not set in stone. And last but not least for next year, uh, my good friend Joffrey, who I've been running with quite a bit. I talked about him a little bit on this channel before. Uh, starting to be tempted to run his first 50k. I was thinking about running the Trails Grandzuk, which was my first 50k. <clears throat> so maybe I'd go to run it again with him. They recently announced that they changed uh, the course for their 50k. Seems like it's going to be a more challenging race, but also a more beautiful one. So kind of interested with, about that. But that's in October 2022. So that means that the middle of our summer would be pretty relaxed. We'll see how we feel that. I also have to check because my wife has a few big karate projects next year. So we have to balance all of that together. And family life, family vacations, things like that. So yeah, this is the outline so far for 2022 for me. So what are the plans for the winter to get ready? For all of those big events next year. I want to keep running, but I'm gonna keep my volume pretty stable. Goal is to basically stay in shape through the winter. And then lots of uh, mobility and strength training because that's something that I've been neglecting in the past. And I want to get back into a routine of doing that. I also feel that my 50k race could have been uh, even better if I had put more effort into strength training all through the year. 
Now what about goals for this channel? <clears throat> well, I want to keep posting to it. I don't have specific goals yet, but I'd like to increase the volume of videos that I put. I'd like to aim for two videos a week. I want to get better at it too and optimize my workflow. And try to come come up with clear goals that I can express soon. Oh yeah, so we're starting to talk about going back to the office after so long being at home. And I don't know how it's gonna look. Probably won't be going back five days a week, but still, I'd like to give a run commuting a try. That's another goal for 2022. But now enough about me. I'd like to hear what are your thoughts on how your 2021 went and what are your goals for 2022. Share in comments below. And if you want to get updates about what's going on with me, what brand I am now an ambassador of, and stuff like that, click subscribe and click on the bell notification. Thanks for watching.